Hi everyone, I'm Omar Ali Boy and today I have the privilege of being in the most beautiful enclave here at the Fish Hotel. I'm going to be cooking a grilled sea bream with some wild garlic alioli and some seasonal asparagus. Sun is out, perfect day for barbecuing with this amazing Napoleon Prestige Pro 825. So we're going to start by preparing the wild garlic alioli and it's an incredibly tasty ingredient at the peak of the season in spring and if you can't find it because you're cooking this recipe another time of the year you can substitute it with basil. Just discard the stalks from both the flowers and the leaves. We're going to discard this completely and I'm going to roughly chop it just so I can put it into my jack. And now we're going to put a generous amount of this beautiful extra virgin olive oil and blend it into a puree. And that's ready. Take a look at such a vivid green that it has acquired. With the help of a fine sieve, I'm just going to drain it so that I can separate the oil from the actual leaves. And now you're gonna think I'm bonkers, but we need to put this wild garlic puree back into the jack because we're going to do an alioli, which is in essence a mayonnaise. We're going to add a pinch of salt, a bit of black pepper, a touch of English mustard, the juice of a lime, three, four tablespoons of water, Blend all that together and pull the rapeseed oil and the green oil on a thin stream so that it combines. And continuing with the green theme, now it's time to peel and cut the asparagus. Soak them just as lightly in some water so that they have a, a film and then I just grill them with no oil for two three minutes and that helps them sort of boil within. Take a look at this chart. At the end that's what barbecues are about. You know, the more you char the ingredients the better the flavor. And with the fish I'm going to brush more oil just to make sure that all of the skin is fully coated. So sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper and it goes straight into the grill at its highest heat. And as fish is so delicate, I'm going to start plating up while it finished cooking. First, a good generous bed of the wild garlic alioli, probably three, four tablespoons. I'm going to grab our fillet of fish. It may seem that it's still a bit raw in the top, but I tell you, with the residual heat, it'll end up being cooked to perfection. Place it over the top. Wow, that looks apart, I have to say. And now, a nice pile of asparagus over it. A bit of this green wild garlic oil. And to finish it off, just a few of these beautiful wild garlic flowers, which are super precious. And here you have it. This is my grilled sea bream with green asparagus and wild garlic alioli. Enjoy your meal, amigos. <laughs>